Hello, in this video we will look at how to work with video and audio in Blender. We're going to look at the uh, strip view of the video sequence editor. This is where we'll add our video and audio. To add video and or audio, we have to add a strip. So to do so, all you have to do is press uh, add or you can also do shift A and add say a movie, image, sound or any of these other effects strips. So I'm going to go ahead and add a video clip. So all you have to do is press add movie. And I probably want to select one of my own movies, which is uh, Tripping, my animated short film. We can see that we've added our video, which is the one in uh, blue, and the audio, which is the one in green. I think that's it. So if I just delete this by pressing X delete, yep, that was the video. So if I did the other way around, where I deleted this one, then I only keep the audio, but I deleted the video. Alright, so we have our video clip here. So when I play back my video, we can see what our video looks like so far in the video preview. And our video looks like it's going to end at that point. So if we want to make our video uh, longer, say towards, say about the length of this uh, movie, all I have to do is put the uh, cursor somewhere around the end of the movie. And I can see what frame I'm currently on. So 10,120. So all I have to do is set the end frame to also be 10,120. So now when I play back my animation, I can see my movie being played back all the way to the last frame. That's pretty simple. And also to press play, I can either press uh, the play button here and pause, or I can use a shortcut Alt A and then escape to finish the animation. So I generally tend to do that because it's much more quicker for me when I work with video and audio because I might have tons and tons of uh, video clips here. It's much quicker for me just to press Alt A just to see a quick portion of the animation so far. Saves a lot of time and it's a lot quicker as well. Um, okay, and yeah, the, the same applies to everything else. So you can also add audio the same way. So you, you go add sound and you can maybe use one of these um, music uh, clips and, and so on. You can also uh, move this cursor somewhere else. You can also add an image. You can put something like that and we see our image. Okay, so that's the basics of adding audio, video and images in the video sequence editor. But uh, that's not all. Uh, sometimes when you work with video editors you would want to shuffle your clips around. You want to change where you want your clip to start or where you want your clip to end. To do so, all you have to do is right click the strip, whether it be your image, movie or audio. So first what you do is you would right click to select it, then you would press G to move the strip. And you can obviously control the timing of when you want your clip to start and end. Sometimes you'd probably want to trim uh, where your um, video would start and end. You probably don't want to see this entire movie from the beginning. Like for example, I probably want to filter out all this logo, my badly made logo. So to trim it out, all I have to do is right click where I can see the arrow here, make sure that the arrow uh, becomes white, and then press G, and now only the um, beginning of the strip will uh, trim down. So as you can see, it starts to get smaller and smaller. So I can trim it down to where I can't see the logo anymore. And, uh, oops, that's too much. And uh, we can see our animation starting without my introduction logo. If I don't want to bore anyone with my uh, film ending credits, all I have to do is just find the area where it's about to end. Uh, right click this end arrow, and then G, and then uh, trim it out. So it's that easy. Uh, you just basically select strips by right clicking, move it around, uh, trim it out by selecting the ends and then moving it in and out. Um, you can also make cuts. That's another thing that I forgot. You probably want to make cuts. Like you probably want to cut out this bit here. At this part you probably want to say I want to make a, a cut there. So all you have to do is simply press K. Or you can alternatively, I'm sure the same shortcut key is somewhere here in the menu. Uh, it's probably strip and there you go, cut soft at frame, which just as I use the shortcut K, you can do the same thing here. So we, then we can take this one and move it around. And generally with the ordering of these uh, clips, the clip that is on top, that is higher than the other ones, tends to take preference over the ones that are on bottom. So if I, for example, move this away, you can see that he's, well, there's, there's a scene of him uh, going towards the balcony but if I put this on 
overlaid on top, then we just change to the video clip that's on top where he's just walking on a corridor. You can also do um, controls on the actual video itself. So for example, if I want it to be half transparent, I just change the opacity. So just drag it down and we can see a bit of the video that's below showing through. I can, um, I can, let's see, I can uh, probably add more saturation to this or decrease saturation from this. I can make it more brighter or less brighter. Oops. Um, I can flip, I can flip this video on the X axis. I can flip this video on the Y axis, make it upside down. I can play this video backwards. There are also modifiers that are related to videos. So I can add modifiers such as brightness, contrast, white balance, um, color correct, color balance, curves, tone map, things like that. If you're a video editor, you probably have fun working with those. Um, but on top of that, we can do even more things. We can add effect strips. So for example, I can add a speed control to the currently selected video. So I can say I want this video to be uh, three times as fast. Just say three times. And when I play back my video, this should play back pretty quickly. Well, we can't see because it's playing at 9 point uh, frames per second. Uh, that's because the video and audio isn't syncing quite well. It needs to make it play in real time, which is at 24 frames per second. We need to change this setting to AV sync, which is the which will show you the real uh, frame rate. So that's the more realistic frame rate. So even though it says 8 frames per second, it, it is actually playing at the normal um, frame rate of 24 frames per second. So we can see that we can do tons and tons of little effects like that. So in the next video, we will look at how to take our final movie that we've made with the video sequence editor and uh, render it out to a video clip.